Hello everybody and welcome to Gem Games as we are continuing Mists Over Carcassonne. And we are going to be on scenario number 5. 13 ghosts still. We're lowering these thresholds. The hound is on 15. The second hound is on the 50. And the goal tile is on 100. That's just like game 3. However, two fewer ghosts and a new cemetery rule. We are now playing with haunted cemeteries. And we'll go over how that works as we play through the game. Uh, let's do this one first. So we need to hit at least 15 points. Let's go. All right. With this one here, I think I'll start right here with it. And we'll meet yellow. Okay, this one I will go here. Cap off that end of the mist. I only need to add the one ghost. And let's go onto the road with red. Okay, right here we're going to enclose this mist in. So no adding ghosts. We're going to remove all three from within the mist. And then I'll score the two-point road. All right, this one will continue this mist. We will not be adding a ghost. But let's put a pink on the road. Hmm. This one will go nicely right here. But I cannot add a meeple because I'm already on the road and in the city. All right, here's our first uh, cemetery tile. So let's put it right here. Now, a cemetery is no longer closed by blocking all four of the orthogonal edges. It now has to be all of the way surrounded on all nine sides. Also... It no longer gets a ghost on it on every single turn uh, that we put ghosts on. However, immediately when it comes into play, we add one ghost to each surrounding tile that has a mist on it, even if that mist has already been closed off. So both of those tiles got a new ghost added to it. There's one more change coming up momentarily, but not until I put a meeple on that city. Now, at the end of every turn in which you have an open cemetery, you have to draw a face-down tile and place it around the cemetery somewhere. Now, if I put it back here, it'll haunt this city, and I can never score the city. Same thing about going there. I can't put it there because it's a diagonal touch. I will go here. That will help to close the cemetery eventually, but for right now, that's as it is. All right, next is this tile, and I wish I could put that around the cemetery. I cannot put anything against a face-down tile without it also matching up to a face-up tile. So I'm going to go right here. And I'm already on that road. Let me score the little two-point road right there. That's four points. And then another face-down tile. We'll go right there with that one. And this is our latest draw. Okay, I'm going to place this right here in order to be able to eventually score this city right there. I will have to add the three ghosts for that tile. And then at the end of the turn, we place that right there, the, our last face down tile to, that will then complete that cemetery. So we immediately are going to need to lay a meeple to rest there. So since this road has been blocked off, from being scored we'll just lay that meeple down to rest so has that city but well he's gonna have to stay there for a little while 
All right, next turn. Okie doke. We'll go right here. And I'm going to score the four point city after we add our two ghosts right there. And let me see. I will go ahead and remove ghosts instead of taking the four points. We had three of them over there. Alright. This right here will close that city. First we add our three ghosts to that tile. I, you know, I'm going to change my mind on that. I'm going to go ahead and go like this. And I'm going to meet with a green right there. I only have to add two ghosts to that. Alright, let's draw. Okay, this will enclose that mist right there and surround it. So all three of the ghosts are going to come off of it. Will come out of it. I will meep the road. Alright, oh, another cemetery. Well, that cemetery is going to go in right there, I think. No. I'm going to put it here. It's kind of bad. We only have to add the ghost to that spot. Because that's the only one the surrounding that has a mist on it. And now we're going to have to lose one of these tiles here. I'll go right there. Now... That was at the end of the turn. I actually have scored this road. That's four points. I'll take the points for that. Now we'll put that in there. And let's draw this. And we're going to put that right here. Very important to do that. We are going to have to add those two ghosts. We can't add a meeple, but we are going to score... The city right here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. For two different colored meeples. So that's 24 points if I want them all. Let's take the first 12. That'll take me to 20. Yeah, I'll take it all. So it takes me to 32. And we're going to put Rufus onto the board. It's unfortunate, though. He's not going to help us remove any of our ghosts from the board and the only scoring meeple that's possible for us is the red one so that's the one that we will put him on now at the end of the turn we need to do another face down tile so let's go right there and now next turn and we do get another stack opened up Boom. Okay, it's possible to close this mist, so I'll put that tile there, and I'll place a green meeple. Oh, this has to go over here, so we'll do that. Now, opened up the new pile. I'll go here. We have to add the ghost, and there's no scoring. Let's continue. Oh, this tile's got to go face down here. All right, here is a castle piece. I may regret it, but I'm going to go right there with it. I'll have to add the ghost here. Um, I will meeple the castle itself. And 
nothing is scored and we're going to end up closing off this cemetery and we'll we'll put this uh this green meeple here to rest in that cemetery because it was trapped all right next draw okay i'll go right here with that and i'll score the four points for that city 36 go right right here I won't have to add a ghost um, I will meeple this road okay this is gonna go right here I had two ghosts, and this has finished this road here, allowing red and yellow both to score. One, two, three, four. Four points each. Now for one of the four point scores, I'm going to take off these two ghosts. Now for the other four points, I'm still thinking about taking off ghosts. Yeah, I'll take off this one. Now Rufus is going to score two, four, six, eight. Eight points for the ghosts that are left on the board. That takes us to 44. Six more points, and I'll reach the other dog, Ranja. All right, it is now time to draw again. <clears throat> so the <clears throat> face-down tiles don't complete anything except for cemeteries. So going right here, that would not be a road. I don't want to go there because that doesn't do anything for me. Looks like no matter what, I'm going to be starting up a new cemetery. I mean, mist. So I'm going to go... Right here. And I'll go... I can't put a meeple inside of there. I'll put one on the road coming out that way. <clears throat> okay, this is going to fit into here one of the few pieces probably that will so we get a ghost that pops up there and I can't ever close off that mist I will score the little two-point road right there with points 46 now and I'm close to scoring the castle all right let's go with this uh, another cemetery The thing is, I could put the cemetery here and it'd be two away from being surrounded, but it's going to add three ghosts to the board. If I put it here, I won't be adding any ghosts to the board. Oh yeah, one right there, where I just took one off. Okay, we'll do that, and I'll score the two-point road. That's 48 now. Oh, the end of the turn, I'm supposed to put one there. This here, I'll put here. And start a new meeple there. But this city is now closed. It'll score 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 points. I'll take the points takes me to 62 but we have reached Ranja and Ranja is going to go on to the red meeple here and we can remove this one ghost 
Now I need to add another face down around that cemetery. We've opened up this pack, so we're not in trouble with the tiles yet. Uh, I did not think this was going to be possible, and it still isn't. That road doesn't match there. Okay. Um, let's see, I can put this here, continue that road on. And that's going to add these two ghosts to the board. Keep going. Oh, add another face down tile there. I think I'll go there and add green meeple and then close off that cemetery. So let's put this green meeple to rest right there. There are two more cemeteries, so we do still have some worry out there about hauntings. Hmm. All right, let's go with this one right here. Maybe. I'll go there and I'll meeple the road. Okay, here's the castle. All right, this is going to go here. Now, I already was unable to... No, I could have fulfilled that mist earlier, but now I can no longer fulfill this one. But there's no ghost in it anyway. Um, but that does slide in there nicely, and I am going to go onto the castle for that one. If I could get a tile there, I'm going to score both of the castles. I do have to add one ghost here. And I'm going to score the little two point... Oh, I can't. I put a guy on the castle. Okay, I do need to score because I've only got one ghost left. As much as I hate to do it, I think I'm going to go off of the castle that I just placed onto. And go ahead and score the two point road. And in lieu of the points, just take off ghosts. Now these two ghosts are on separate tiles. So I'm going to take off, um, these two, they're on a pretty big mist. Okay, let's see what this one does. Okay, I can close off my city over there. Now I can keep these mists from being completed and go ahead and stick this here and score the castle. I'm not going to do that quite yet. I'll go right here with it and score the six points for this green meeple. That would take me to 18. And then let's see if I can't close something up. Alright, this will close up that end of the mist. Let's go yellow here. I'm going to go here. I have to add a ghost. And that four point city is going to be used to remove two ghosts. And I'll remove those two. Okay. I'm sure I'm still recording there. That's happened to me. Be in the middle of recording and all of a sudden find out I'm no longer recording. I have to redo the whole game. I'm going there and I'm going to put a red meeple. Now the next draw. We'll go there. One meeple. I mean one ghost. I'll put a green meeple on. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to place this one here, and that is going to enclose this mist right here. But it blocks this one. So I don't have to add these two ghosts because they're part of the one I'm clearing out. And I will put a yellow maple here. And then I'm going to score Castle Guy. Two points for every tile in this in these nine that have missed. All nine of them do. That's 18 points, which will take me to 36, just 14 away from winning the game. It will be my first win on Scenario 5. Now, where I was going wrong before was with these tiles, uh, face-down ones. I thought that any feature adjacent to it could not be scored because it was haunted. That's the way the instructions kind of makes it sound. But I found out that it's only ones that it blocks. If it can still be scored, it can be scored. Now, I do want to go here, but I don't. I want to go where I only have to add the one ghost. So I'll go and do that. And I'll go ahead and meet with pink right there. And this would cap off this mist, although it's not fully completed because of this face down tile. So I can't remove the ghosts. I don't have to add that ghost because I have to add one fewer since I expanded a mist. I'll go to the road there. I own oh, another cemetery. I have to be careful about where I place this. Okay. I'm going to place it there. I have to add a ghost to both of those tiles. I'm going to score the four points here, but I'm going to use those four points to remove these two ghosts. I am getting close to running out of tiles. I do need to look at that as well. Okay, I've got Rufus over here I'd like to get scoring. Putting that there will add one. Okay, I did not place next to that cemetery last turn. So I add the one ghost there. I will not meeple the road. Now let's do the next face down tile and then draw. Okay, we are going to This will score two, four, six, eight points. That gets me very, very close. It'll trap those ghosts. I'm going to do it because I need those points. So two, four, six, eight, two times at 16. I did it. 54. That is a win. And hopefully we'll find I did not do anything wrong in this video. We have succeeded on scenario number five, and that is going to bring us to scenario number six, the final one in the next video. So win or lose, that'll be the last video. Um, so we're going to remove one ghost from our total. And we'll see what number six brings along. I've never played it, so... It's good for me to read after this video how it plays. I'll probably do a practice game and then come in and do a video of it. So thanks for watching this. See you next time on Jim Games. Goodbye.